God gives us so many things. It's hard to uh, bring it down to just a few. But one of the biggest things that God will give immediately when you connect with God is comfort. It says in Psalm 17, verse 7, Wondrously show thy steadfast love, O Savior of those who seek refuge. I pray today and all this week, every time that you connect with God, that you feel God's comfort. I pray that God's loving kindness will comfort you and that you will live with courage and trust based on the strength that you receive from that comfort. My friend, in the most difficult and the most challenging times, let us recognize that the tender and the merciful love of God is with us and working for us. Now, that's a big one. To realize that God is not just working with you, but God is working for you. And by turning to God for comfort and for reassurance, you will find the courage and trust that you need this week to live your life in a triumphant way. You are comforted right now as you connect with God. I pray that you're comforted this minute as you think about God with me. Even though it may seem that because of some loss in your life, the door to your good has closed, you know the truth that God provides another door to new and undiscovered good. Every day I hear from people that are just basically so upset they say they can't pray because of some loss. It could be a loss of a relationship, the loss of a financial security, such as a job, but those same people that I follow because I follow them first in being in prayer with them daily and then later as I hear about the answers to prayer that came, the new undiscovered good. And almost in every case, looking back over the years, people will say, thank God that that happened. But when they are smart enough to pray in the beginning of the loss. When they have that comfort in fill them, the peace that passes understanding, that to their human mind they can't understand it in yet, and yet they feel this incredible comfort. They know that something is sustaining them. and They can move past those feelings of discouragement and cross over the threshold to complete comfort and to peace and then to joy. When that happens, you know that something great is working for you, in you, around you. God's loving kindness, comforting your mind, your body, and your emotions. God's loving kindness provides for a complete healing of your body, your mind, and your life, and a restoration. See, God's will for you is abundant good, which is expressed in infinite ways. And, and when you know this, you are comforted and you are uplifted.